Any non-Muslim brother in the queue? So can you mention your name and profession? Hello. Oh. Uh, my name is Andrew Hayes, and I'm Sorry? from. What's your name? Andrew. 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 Yeah. yeah. I'm from uh, Australia. I'm. I used to be a Christian, and now I am a Muslim. Yes, yeah, so I am a Muslim. <laughs> yes. Um, I have a. I have been watching you on YouTube, but um, I have a question. That um, you got given a question quite a while ago, but I just want to ask you another question. It is. Um, we have been given a choice to come to this earth and to do a test as we got asked to be an angel or to do a test, come to the earth and become greater than an angel. And um, I just, part of my question is why have some people come here and have they have chosen to be bad people or uh, why would Alice send them here if they were only going to be bad people and do bad things? Did these people know before coming here that they were going to pass the test or on purpose come here to make other people suffer? But um, I understand that the following of the Quran leads us to, um, to, to pass this test, but yeah, I'm just wondering why, or if people come here on purpose just to um, make people suffer instead of doing good. Brother Rast, a very good question. Brother Andrew, he was a Christian, and Alhamdulillah, he has accepted Islam. He has seen some of my videos on the YouTube and from that lecture and question and answer session what I said is asking a question and I say that Allah says in the Quran in Surah Mul chapter 67 verse number 2 that Allah zi khalaq al mawta al hayata it's Allah who has created death and life to test which of his good indeeds. He agrees that we have come here as a test but he's asking the question that some people come in this world and they do not follow the commandment of Allah, they may do wrong things, they may hurt other people, they may kill, they may rob. So why have they come into this world? Correct, brother? Correct. And didn't Allah know before that they will be doing this wrong? Correct? Yeah, correct. Two questions. Why did they come and didn't Allah know that they will be doing wrong? As I mentioned in my earlier answer, I'm repeating that Allah says in Surah Mul chapter 16 verse number 2 that he has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. We human beings, we have come in this world as a test for the hereafter. If you follow his commandments, that's the glorious Quran and the Sahih Hadith, inshallah you will pass this test and go to paradise, go to Jannah. If you do not follow the commandments, then you will not pass the test, you will not go to paradise, you will go to Jannah, hell. Now the question asked by brother is that why did those people who don't want to follow the Quran have come here? And there's a verse in the Quran in Surah Furqan chapter 25 which says when Allah asks who would like to come here and he rightly said that Allah created a unique creation that is the human beings who have a free will to obey or disobey Allah. The other creation like the angel for example, they always obey Allah, they have no option. We human beings, we have an option to agree or disagree with Allah. But if we agree with the commandments of Allah after being given the free will, we become higher than the angels. But after the free will, if we disobey, we become lower, we may become like the Satan also. So when Allah asks, who would like to take this challenge? 
If you don't accept, you may just get second class, pass. But if you want to undergo this test, a free will will be given to you. But if you pass, you will get first class or maybe distinction, or maybe you will fail. So Quran says in Surah Furqan, chapter 25, we human beings were fools who agreed with the test, you and I. Even you, even I. You may tell me that I don't remember. I don't remember saying that. Allah says in Surah Araf, chapter 7, verse 172, that He bought from the loins of Adam, peace be upon Him, all the human beings, and asked them, Who is your Lord? All of them said, One Allah. But then, when He bought them in this world for the test, the memory was washed away. For example, when the teacher teaches you in the school or the university, you have the textbook in front of you, correct? You can read, the teacher writes, teaches you for one year, but during the test, in the examination, can you carry the textbook to the examination hall? Yes or no? Can you carry the textbook in the examination hall? Yes or no? No. No, why? It will be cheating. So similarly, we promised, we agreed Allah is one. We agreed to come down in this world. We, the memory has been washed away. Now we are undergoing the test. Therefore, on the day of judgment, even the kafir, even the unbeliever, even the mushrikeen who will be put in the hellfire will never object to the justice of Allah. See, once you fail in the test, when you go home and you look in the textbook, you come to know you have written wrong, right or wrong? You come to know, but you don't object, oh, why has teacher failed me? Because I wrote wrong. So on the day of judgment, the Quran says, in Surah Anam chapter number 6, no unbeliever will ever object to the justice of Allah. They will only say, give us one more chance, Allah will say. The time is over. So, those people who are doing wrong things like killing, robbing, cheating, they thought they would pass the test, but they failed. So they are to blame. Allah knew, of course Allah knew. Allah knew in advance. Can Allah change? He can change. For example, in an examination of mathematics, while the examination is going on, the student writes 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. The teacher while supervising sees that. If the teacher wants, if the teacher wants, the teacher can tell the students. Student, don't write 2 plus 2 is equal to 5, write 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. She can say. But if she says that, all the other students will object. Why is the teacher cheating? Why is the teacher helping? This is a test. Right or wrong? Similarly, if Allah wants. Allah can stop that person from cheating, robbing, killing. Allah can do that. But Allah is only mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse number 32. If anyone kills any innocent human being, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. And if anyone saves any human being, it's as though he has saved the whole of humanity. This is it. But if you want, you can stop the killing. But Allah lets it happen because this is a test. And the person who is doing these wrong things, he is not following the commandment of Allah. So he'll fail the test. But people who follow the commandment, they will pass and they will go to Jannah. Hope that answers the question, brother. Thank you. Jazakallah.